This video is about linking Forest Fen's dog BIP, B-I-P, as a means of linking images in The Thrill of the Chase to actual possible treasure chest locations. This is the image on page 28 of The Thrill of the Chase, which I have scanned. It may lack a bit in resolution, but I think it illustrates the point. If you zoom into the foreground of the image, the grass patch there, you'll find that this part here, if I can just highlight that using screen capture, that part there seems to say BIP, as in B an I there and a P there. The other things to note are this part here, which seems to say capital T and capital C, which may stand for treasure chest. And there's also this E or L in this part up here. There's also the possibility that there may be other markings such as down there and conceivably in other parts of the foreground of that image. The relevance of BIP is in the treasure location. That's the blaze down there. That is the area that we're talking about down there. So zooming in, part of interest is here. There's a B there, an I there, and a P there. I'll just rotate the ori orientation so north is on the bottom of the image and that's the B I P in that area there and according to Google Maps that location is there the GPS coordinates are 44.829381 minus 110.096992 and if you look at that area there with BIP, if TC is indicating the treasure chest, it's over there, somewhere to the left of that BIP. And that part there is the treasure location, which I have set out in my other videos. If BIP is, corresponds with the image as in that area there, and TC is over there, then the treasure chest should be somewhere around there. There's BIP, and there's the treasure area, which should be the mark in the tree. So rotating that, there's a plus sign in the shadow of that tree, and from my other videos, there should be a treasure or an installation in the shadow of that tree which contains the treasure chest. There is the possibility that there are other markings in the foreground of that image which are relevant to locating the treasure chest. However, that is the limits on my ability to interpret those markings. That's the limit on my vision, my scanning, the resolution of my monitor, and what I can extract out of the image. If you can find better details or you're able to separate the markings from the background, then good luck to you. Good luck with your search if the treasure chest is still out there, and please stay safe.